what is the pathway to navigate to or for undergraduate or domain or a student to pursue career in the track side engineer and a racing so yogi huh? for a track side engineer it's It's, it's a long way actually there are very specific courses for track side engineering uh, or for motorsports engineering or you can look on uk or in us there is only one university i was i, I remember iupui motorsports engineering so uh, even if you do the motorsports uh, engineering or specific to race thing it's very very constrained very limited actually and difficult to find a job because it's very competitive already in like countries like us uk people are focused on uh, like young generation they are more towards motor sports so when you come from a different country without any experience till your bachelor's and you didn't have any participation no like even not even voluntary experience so it becomes very difficult if uh, but there are like you can even from if you are from rjd or RG, any rgb university normal college you can get admitted to the courses like motor sports engineering in uh, U, us and in uk there are courses like race car engineer or something like that so you can for sure you can apply to those you will get an admit but the thing is after graduation it's really really difficult to get a job in the track side team like as a truck side engineer so and unless you have your own money because first thing is during that masters you don't get funding that is pretty sure for motor sports there is no funding you have to spend a lot of money by yourself and then at the end you are not get paid that much on a rest track because you are as an intern or like just starting going there you don't have experience you learn for 2 3 years and then you will gradually start earning something uh, so for motor sports engineering you need a lot of money for your from your side to put into that so if you have that and you are really interested you can apply for the courses no doubt in that and what are the different departments there and skills required to get a place in a race team or oh, it depends there are different different departments like data acquisition engineer or vehicle dynamics engineer Uh, aerodynamics engineer so it's up, up to you what what interest you have like they have ce engineers as well uh, for structural analysis stress analysis uh, then your vehicle dynamics for sure that's needed and then aerodynamics you have all the cft stuff a lot of intense cft work and <clears throat> the acquisition is like during we when we call is running on the track you in the real time case you acquire the data using different sensors accelerometers and all the stuff uh temperature pressure uh, of the flow on the vehicle and lots of things so that helps you to analyze the performance of the vehicle and how you can improve the vehicle performance so mm, that's what data acquisition engineers uh, role is and then some are data analysis you have a lot of data on the race track like a lot of engine test data and vehicle data so you need to analyze and uh, give what can be done for the next race uh, what is best for the team so a lot of different departments uh, so your interest you want to go in analysis you want to go and your <laughs> acquisition thing practical thing and <laughs> so race uh, as a race engineer there are different races around the globe like in us nascar i don't know if you have heard it nascar racing is more uh, here in north america and then in your european side f1 and those f2 f3 races and other different kinds of races are there so it's up to you what what different race you want to go in and how you want to pursue your career is it too late uh, or early to get into the motor sports especially when you are most expected to land in the industrial domain so uh, again i would recommend to get some get some good experience because motor sports i have seen the openings in the motor sports it's not easy to get into the motor sports team um vehicle dynamics engineer or cfd engineer you need to have a very uh, like specific experience so 
if you are able to find it in some company in India, then it's good. You can apply probably. They need young engineers for sure, young and hardworking. But at the same time, they need a very highly skilled person. It's never too late or not too early. It's you you need to keep trying. It's you don't know when when you can get a chance. <clears throat> so uh, do you want to give suggestion why we should do motorsports event? For sure, for motorsports event, yeah, it really helps you. Uh, and shaping up your skills and your interest areas because you do some practical stuff, uh, more sports events and as you see or any kind of other events you really go into <clears throat> the track side and you get a feel okay we have to fix our vehicle lots of hands-on activities and other things like <clears throat> fixing uh, designing a car from scratch manufacturing uh, all the manufacturing process you come to uh, you get to know and uh, different software skills you can acquire and uh, yeah pretty much uh, you will get a feel of what motorsports is it's, it's always fun but as a career for long term from a country like india it's it's really difficult because you need the money to learn all those skills and uh, like you might not get return from that thing for a long time and you need to keep doing the hard work so for on how as a team what is the importance which makes team win or lose or <laughs> i think that's uh man that's that's very generic question actually um teams you know it's the first thing for any event or anything team is the first and most important thing and how you handle the situation how is your captain how is your team manager or anyone like it depends a lot on them as well also like people are from different mindset but you need to utilize the skills of different people to win or to win an event or to participate in an event but you need to, to satisfy all of them at the same time. You can't be like rude to any uh, any of the members. So it's it's a kind of balance which somebody needs to handle in the team. It might not be the team leader, but someone who can who can bind the team members together and it still still keeps the things going on. So that's that's really important for me. I I was really focused on the team building activities, like having fun together, calling up the team meetings every alternate days, and uh, like asking individual members, okay, what is going on with them? Any any other, any problems uh, on on their study side? Okay, any help they need uh, on their financial matters or from <clears throat> family side? If they are not able to perform good, we can help them out. So things like that. Uh, you need to always keep supportive between each other. There are times like we, we fight, but we need to get, we need to resolve those fights as soon as possible. That's the important part here. Yeah, so team is the first thing, man. So don't be, <clears throat> like shit happens in every team actually. It's not like everyone, the teams are perfect. Every team has some issues, so. You need to make that team a perfect team that's that's on every individual thing and the, every individual person it's on the team cap only team captain's responsibility it's everyone's in the team and everyone in the team i i must say everyone in the team is a team captain it's not just one captain oh you will win the game or win the event when everyone is acting as a captain okay so let's move to another question. How we can develop our skills for future core electric out of the fields? Okay, so if you are in your like starting your bachelor's in engineering, and it doesn't matter for me which engineering branch are you from, because right now 
I'm like, I'm a development engineer. So I, I work on electrical stuff. I work on programming stuff, what computer and your software engineers do. And I also work on automotive mechanical thing. So once you come into the industry, it's like you have to perform the job, which is open, which, which you, you can be given a programming assignment. You can be given an electrical or any other stuff. So you need, you need to have an open mindset, even if you have done your engineering and mechanical. Uh, so for electrical side, uh, there are very specific skills actually you need. You should be familiar with all the programming skills. What do you, uh, what we are being taught in first year, like computer engineering, all the C++, Python, languages like that. So those are very important role once you, once you are finding a job in the electrical, uh, electric vehicle field. And, excuse me. And uh, other things uh, like need to have uh, some electrical background, uh, whatever you are being taught in the first year, try to remember or revise all those things. And uh, there's one subject control theory or control systems, which in some of the colleges it's not being taught. I remember in my college, RJT, it's not being taught. So, oh, if you have an option for to opt for robotics or control systems, go for it. That is the most important subject which you will use in electric domain. And other things are like if, <clears throat> so in the market, there are already so many CAD designers in India. Now that part, like when I talk to my friends, there are not many new opportunities like design engineer, CAD modeling stuff. Because um, when I was in the college, I was at the mindset, okay, I have to learn this software, CAD software, like uh, servers, CAD or any other software. And then, uh, okay, now I, I should learn CE software answers. Okay, good, uh, I'm set, I will get some job. But the thing is in electrical side, uh, you need a different set of skills. And <clears throat> the set of skills we guys focus as a being as, as a mechanical engineer, those are not, not sufficient. I would say not sufficient to get a good job role in the electrical field. Uh, so <clears throat> apart from your scan modeling, you need to have some other control systems, programming background in that. I would say learn MATLAB or any other control software, do hands-on things like that will be useful. And uh, for electric, uh, it's like in India, I don't see any bachelors where the courses are for electric uh, vehicle engineering, but basically you need to have the core courses uh, thoroughly done, like controls, uh, some basic electrical engineering, things like that. If you are a mechanical engineer, then you can move forward into that field. <laughs> And now there are a lot of uh, online courses you can do for um, learning some basic stuff, but I don't know if that will really help you getting a job. Right now it's still starting, but yeah, you can for sure develop your skills. Uh, another question. How can we prepare ourselves for the next version of industry like electric self-driven cars? <clears throat> okay, again, Yogi Raj. I I think a couple of couple of things I, I already I already mentioned here, Yogi. So the skill set it's it's very it's it's different right now. What's not being like taught in our colleges as a mechanical or automotive field, automotive engineer, for sure. So things like when you're doing SUVC, you, uh, all the calculations and all you're doing by yourself. Okay, so well, how can, how do you validate the data? Sorry. So whatever calculations you are doing, like, Suppose for the battery, you did uh, 
um, all the state of charge and all those discharge rate and all calculations how whatever calculations you're doing how, do you use any software to to validate that like any electrical data i don't know if you're using it or not but if you're using it it's good you should use it so how you can theoretical how how close your theoretical data is to your empirical or test data actual test data so you need to learn all those skills <clears throat> For, because as you see, like most of the stuff you can learn from your this vehicle building activity regarding the electric side. So <clears throat> I would say uh, use MATLAB or any of the softwares. I don't know what will be the specific to your, your problem statement, but uh, like for when I was in Baja, we were using ANSYS and other things like we, we or even the for suspension analyzer, there was different software. So we try to validate our uh, design using like through softwares as well as uh, testing. So you need that kind of mindset. Okay, uh, you have done the theoretical calculations, you have the parameters, all the coefficients which are needed for the calculations you do, and then try to use some software and then do some practical testing that will help you to develop your skills uh, on the electrical side. And for self-driven cars, oh, that's a good, good one actually. Uh, self-driven cars in India right now, it, it's it's a long way to go. But uh, if you are planning to move to US or any other North American country or or Europe, the companies are gearing up on the self-driven cars. Uh, so before self-driven cars, there are different levels of self-driven self-driving vehicles there are five different levels so level one level two level three you can read about these um so in india i don't know if how many cars have the blind spot detection or cruise control things like that so those are also in, in one of the level for self-driving so and all those all these self-driven cars self-driving cars they use sensors different kinds of sensors so you so you can learn about those different sensors like radar, camera, LIDAR, and uh, like IMU, GPS units, things like that. So in self-driving cars, sensors are playing a very important role. So I would say you should learn about all these sensors. And if you can implement something in your in your college life, like using radar or using a camera um, on your vehicle, like, okay, your vehicle stops, you have a camera on the vehicle when something comes in the front of the vehicle, it applies automatically brakes to the vehicle. You can, maybe you can try putting it on your SUVC vehicles, something like that. So maybe uh, I, this is for you, Ajit, or SUVC team. Uh, maybe you guys from the next year, we can have something like, how can you make your car smarter? Uh, that will be a good, good point for students to learn. Uh, Camera on for Martin. Hey, hey guys, can uh, can you guys uh, turn on your cameras who are on the call? I'm I'm not sure. Uh, it it will be nice to have see you all pres <laughs> present here. It's me only talking, okay? <laughs> I, I don't like <laughs> just continuously talking because uh, that's kind of boring, okay? Maybe you can open up the, your cameras and we can we can have a chat, or, well, not a chat, but you can write down in the chat box and it will be see. Uh, it will be good for us who are, who are out there. Because I might not be able to see you uh, on the track, but it's always good. Okay. Let's let's go. Let's go to the next one. Okay, you, uh, uh, Yogi. Uh, I think we we can have a discussion. Okay, what what else do you want to do? You want to know? Hello. 
hi yogi yeah hello sir hello. yes it's it's uh, it's been very uh, fortunate of me that uh, i what i wanted to know it, it, it it's answered right now and uh, i knew that it's going to be uh, somewhat difficult in the motor sports uh, category i am trying to fit in but yes mm-hmm. i'll keep trying as you told me to do so and uh, yeah. i'll keep uh, you know, i'll connect with all of the people uh, i'll try to be in that community where i can get constant guidance according to what i'm trying to do so yep yep definitely yeah yes sir you, yeah you can uh, yeah in india like in tamil nadu we have a track and all that that side it's it's um, some activities do happen you can check it out and yes, always uh, like try to get some like voluntary experience from with the the motor sports team in india that will help you to get a good experience abroad if you want to do a masters or something yes sir okay and uh, for electric and self driving cars that's a new upcoming field so it's you can so i would recommend go for some online courses that will that will really help you to understand what kind of engineering is being used for an electric car or a self driving car so yes, from there you can get more idea okay i can focus on this subject i like this subject so i can develop my engineering skills on control systems on um, like yes, programming sir. stuff like that so you can do some online courses <clears throat> yes sir currently i am i am uh, having two courses running parallel to each other uh, one is the vehicle dynamics course and the other one is hybrid electric vehicles basics and uh, electronics uh, from udem itself so uh, i am running both of them in parallel and it's almost uh, you know i am halfway down and uh, mm-hmm. it's really fantastic to know something out of the conventional things we study that like combustion engines you know uh, suspension and everything the con- conventional arc syllabus and all out of the syllabus i think we should we should reach out to study more and more so that we are connected yeah. to the industry what is happening over there and, yeah for sure uh, so i'm already in between two of the courses <laughs> i must say yeah 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 for so things like because this is a long very long lockdown period i would say across the world actually not in india only so you and right now i'm also doing a lot of a uh, lot of online courses are related to programming like related to data science okay yes sir uh um, data analysis using python or learning python in in depth and like other programming skills which i will be using so stuff like that all of you guys can you uh, do or utilize your time properly during this lockdown that's a very good chance to learn and build your skills because yesterday one of there was one question like one guy was asking will there be any jobs this year we are graduating and how things are going to happen yes, so sir. for sure this year it's going to be very very difficult for next 6 months once you graduate it will be very hard because right now every company there there is either a layoff or a pay cut yes and sir. they have freezed the hiring nobody is in the office there are no real interviews going on yes sir so so it will be a very tough time for people who are graduating but uh, but you can keep learning the skills and like just sharpen your axe so that once you get a chance you will be right on time and on point so you need to be ready to strike that opportunity so i would recommend keep doing the courses keep building your uh skills yes sir yeah okay and maybe uh who we'll... for the next questions maybe you guys can open up your cameras as well so that i can see your faces it will be nice to see and, and it's it's good actually <laughs> okay uh, so yogi any other questions you have yes sir i uh, uh yeah uh, in the previous year and my this this year currently in the third year i wanted to you know um, construct a project about uh, Uh, an overtake vehicle a vehicle overtake assist system uh, as it categorizes under driver assist system das and mm. uh, i was trying to work out it a bit little uh, just like uh, developing a system that 
assist the driver to overtake correctly like the overtaking is a very difficult maneuver the most difficult maneuver actually so i was you know uh, very in uh, i was in touch with all of these things from the past and one year and i tried to do it and i was thoroughly studying some research paper i think i have studied around 30 plus research papers um regarding you know uh, das types of das controlling their process working their systems and design everything so mm-hmm. it's, it was very nice working uh, with the process and it is very good to study so i was like yes i want to do this and uh, the recently uh, this uh, volkswagen ask came up with uh, this technology that they have, the new car is been equipped with everything so when i saw that vehicle i was like yeah, this is exact thing i was trying to do and mm-hmm. they have their overtake assist they have their emergency uh, sequence emergency stop uh, and everything in there so i was like yes uh, it was pretty uh, confusing for me to whether continue with my project or not but uh, mm-hmm. uh, one thing was sure that i was thinking in the right direction that mm-hmm. kept yep. me motivated all through that yes i am thinking in the right direction maybe i was just a pretty bit late for a like uh, from that idea i was little behind but don't worry. i asked i said myself don't worry you are thinking in the right manner just think of something good more yeah yeah that's that's a good way to do a good way to go ahead and uh, yeah you can you can always keep building your skills for sure uh, the one thing i would recommend you as if you are interested in control systems and uh, like uh, or vehicle dynamics part of controls so you can look to the courses in sweden kth uh, kth royal institute of technology that's a good one uh, they have vehicle dynamics masters course I, i loved it and there is another university in netherland delft uh, those are good ones for controls and vehicle dynamics so it, it will be really good okay so okay moving on to the next uh yogi if you have any other questions keep posting it at the bottom we'll we'll come back to you uh rajesh sir after uh, after bachelor's degree and a bit of experience is it better to go get master's degree in engineering or management okay. so rajesh it all depends on your uh, area of interest um if you think you want a managerial post and you can handle the things without having an engineering experience because uh, in country like in countries like us or canada or anywhere or uh, it's like to become a manager you need a lot of experience 15 years or sometimes 20 years of experience and uh, even for on the technical side you need a lot of experience to gain some particular skills to be a perfect um, on some programming or some controls part so <clears> oh <throat> uh, after your after your experience <clears throat> like after getting initial experience after your bachelor's 2 3 years you will realize okay i might not be good as suit for for engineering i'm not very strong on the engineering skills so maybe i can switch on to the managerial side i can manage the things better uh, which most of the people think they can manage the things better but it's it's really difficult when things go under pressure so rajesh it's uh, i don't know what will be your first job how things go around for 2 3 years so it all depends on that and uh, if you want to go for management degree at i would say have an experience of at least 3 4 years more experience is needed for the management side and for management try to oh, try to hit a good university for management side because from every normal in university like a low ranking university management courses are not that good and like there are a lot of people sitting around the world and do, after doing the management things but again they have, they again come to the engineering side and do some other engineering roles so for sure get an experience then your mind will be more open where you want to have your ex- your further studies thank you sir okay. thank you for asking okay uh ajit how uh, we can personally check our team progress and can you know that either we are going on the right uh, 
track or out of track. So for this, for checking the uh, team progress, it's all like setting up the goals, weekly goals and reviewing it with the, all the departments. So there is a captain and there are, uh, there is like a head of department for a particular section like brakes, steering, suspension, or Alternatives I would say it's better so that you you can know that something really going on. is that you Sir, your uh, voice is not there. I think internet internet connection problem is there. No. Yes, sir. Your voice is not clear. Sir. My voice is still not clear. Yes, sir. Now, okay. yes, sir. Now is now is better. Okay. Yes, sir. Sorry, guys. I think my phone's microphone and uh, it was placed on something. So my God. Blah, or something. So, do I need to repeat, or uh, everything is fine from the last one? I think so. You have to repeat it. Can you speak louder? Hello. Sir, please repeat. Sir. Okay. Sure. So, uh, regarding the track, I was saying that you need to have. You need to have meetings frequently with your team uh, members, colleagues. Like you have all the head of departments. If not everyone is present, at least head of department should be responsible for updating the progress of individual department brakes, steering, suspension, battery, solar cells, or anything. Marketing sponsorships. Because when I was doing these events, I was I was meeting my team regularly, almost every day, and. Uh, if somebody is not able to present, okay, we'll do it tomorrow, but I need the updates on phone. Okay, what happened to the sponsorship? Did you guys met that guy? Okay, it didn't work out. Okay, what is the next next step we are doing? So, so when you meet frequently, you get ideas to solve from different people, like 25 members are there or 20 people are there in your team. So there are 20 different minds in the room. So you will get good ideas around. So always try to meet with your team members and try to set up the targets. So if you are meeting after a week, it becomes a long, actually after every seven days, after six days or five days, it's like, okay, five days. Sometimes we have the tendency to go lazy. Okay, we can do this work. It's not big. We can do it later, 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 but nothing happens. It's always good to push the things. It's it's a responsibility of team captain and the head of departments, your team. 
so i would i would always say try to set up the goals achieve the goals and you will be on track okay next is so after the batch class okay this is john this is john try to publish research papers good academics at vikas shukla okay yeah this always research papers and uh, good academics for sure it helps uh research papers you can yeah in india there are a lot of like very new upcoming journals and uh, publications you can put your research paper on whatever vehicle you are making on any idea I mean, if you have just calculations cad models or and analysis on a software you can put up a research paper so you should try keep doing it and mm which is good to buy so second in one laptop so a performance laptop so here so here traj can can you can i see you hi so here are you online Hey man, are you online? So here, I don't think so. So here left. Maybe we can come back to this question later. Uh, one person, one question at a time. Okay, that's fine. Adib, Adib Bakar, sir, I'm new here. What is the future goal on which I have to focus on right now? or make use of this lockdown to learn something that's a good one adip can i see you hey adip can you turn on your videos sure. and oh hi adip how are you doing hello nice nice to see you uh if you want we can talk in hindi i love hindi okay yeah. whatever you are not <laughs> हिंदी कोई भी स्किल्स ले लो यार मैम तो कल ही एक डांस क्लास में एनरोल किया है ऑनलाइन एंड आई एम एंजॉयिंग इट मैम सो देयर आर डिफरेंट स्किल्स इवन ऑन द टेक्निकल साइड आई विल ऑलवेज रिकमेंड लाइक मैकेनिकल से हो ना तो किससे हो ऑटो ऑटोमोबाइल से ऑटोमोबाइल से सो प्रोग्रामिंग स्किल कैसा है तुम्हारा पाइथन C++ नो सर सर जहां से हम बिलोंग करते हैं सर वहां तो ऐसा कोर्स है ही नहीं कुछ कंप्यूटर के मामले में डेटा डेवलप भी सीटी नहीं है या 10th 12th में थे तो कोई भैया लोग बोलते थे कि C++ सीख लो तो गए भी तो पता चला यहां कोर्स होता है नहीं वो नॉर्मल सा कोर्स होता है डीसीए ये सब बस और कुछ था ही नहीं नहीं तो अभी कौन से ईयर में हो फर्स्ट हां फर्स्ट फर्स्ट ईयर फर्स्ट ईयर ना बहुत अच्छा टाइम है बहुत अच्छा टाइम है ये फर्स्ट ईयर है तो एक काम करना मतलब यूडेमी वगैरह यूडेमी ईडीएक्स ये वेबसाइट्स हैं इन पर जाना और पाइथन के कोर्सेज करो पाइथन सी प्लस प्लस डू दो कोर्सेज क्योंकि मेरे को पता है बाहर यू विल डेवलप योर मैकेनिकल स्किल्स लाइक आगे चल के तुम अगले तीन साल में इतना मैकेनिकल और ऑटोमेटिक सब्जेक्ट्स पढ़ोगे बट कंप्यूटर कंप्यूटर इंजीनियरिंग वगैरह ये सब कोर्सेज नहीं पढ़ोगे तो अभी हो सके तो कुछ प्रोग्रामिंग स्किल्स गेन करना मजा आता है लाइक यू विल एंजॉय इट एक बार कोर करने की कोशिश करना इट्स रियली इंपॉर्टेंट राइट नाउ इन मार्केट इवन इफ यू आर फ्रॉम मैकेनिकल साइड इफ यू नो द प्रोग्रामिंग बहुत बढ़िया बात है बहुत अच्छा मतलब अच्छा स्किल है टू डेवलप तो मैं यही बोलूंगा कि अभी कोर्सेस यूडीएम पे सर्च करो यूडीएमई पे कुछ फ्री ऑनलाइन कोर्सेज रहते हैं अब वो चेक आउट करो एंड ईडीएक्स पे भी विदाउट सर्टिफिकेट कोर्सेज हैं तो मॉडिट कर सकते हो किसी भी कोर्स को 
एक ओवर भी लो डिफरेंट डिफरेंट कोर्सेज का इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स पढ़ लो और कंट्रोल सिस्टम्स आगे जाके थोड़ा 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 बेसिक पढ़ो बेसिक एज अ लर्नर मतलब सर्च में जाके उसमें तुम डालोगे ना सर लाइक बिगनर्स कंट्रोल सिस्टम फॉर बिगनर्स इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स फॉर बिगनर्स सो यू विल गेट टू नो सम बेसिक्स तो वो बहुत अच्छी चीज है व्हीकल डायनामिक्स वगैरह तो खैर बाद में तुम पढ़ लोगे तो जैसे वही देखेंगे चीज है things like that मतलब event event तो अभी ज़्यादा focus कर नहीं सकते मतलब सब घर में बैठे हैं तो I don't know how much work you guys can do but हाँ जैसे अगर कोई particular software एक यार interested तो you can finish that like जैसे मतलब cat software अगर कोई चल रहा है sword box वगैरह अगर उसमें ज़्यादा interest आ रहा है तो वो finish कर लो answers finish कर लो so things like that मतलब utilize करो इस time को like दो महीने तीन महीने ना like बहुत long बहुत अच्छा बहुत लंबा time है मतलब मैं खुद ही बहुत सारे इस कोर्सेस कर रहा हूँ लाइक चार पांच कोर्सेस एनरोलमेंट चलता रहता है मेरा कल रात को एग्जाम देके निपटा तो यू शुड आल्सो कीप डूइंग इट लाइक मेरा तो सेटलमेंट हो गया मेरे तो बाल भी थोड़े एक दो सफेद आ गए बट यू गाइस हैव स्टिल स्टिल लॉट ऑफ लॉन्ग जर्� सर जैसे डिजाइनिंग में सर अभी है सर एक दोस्त तो कर भी रहा है सर सॉलिड वर्क्स लोग कर रहे हैं सर दोस्त लोग सर तो उसमें अभी मतलब डिजाइनिंग में अभी फर्स्ट कोर्स हम किस चीज से सिलेक्ट करें सर मतलब कौन सा ले सॉलिड वर्क्स ले या ऑटो कैट ले क्या ले समझ में आया बेस्ट क्या है जब मैं मेरे को भी ये सॉल्ड वर्क्स पे मुझे मतलब अच्छा इंटरेस्ट आया था इट वाज इजी एंड यूजर फेस वाज यूजर इंटरफेस वाज गुड तो मैंने सॉल्ड वर्क्स से स्टार्ट किया था मतलब बाहा वगैरह जो भी जो भी इवेंट करे तो उसमें सॉल्ड वर्क्स यूज करके बनाया था तो यू कैन स्टार्ट विथ सॉल्ड वर्क्स और एनी अदर सॉफ्टवेयर एंड कोई भी ठीक है सर तो एक कोई भी सॉल्ड वर्क्स वगैरह कोई भी फगड़ लेना उसके साथ कोई डिजाइनिंग वगैरह और मैं ये बोलूँगा कि डिजाइनिंग डिजाइन इंजीनियर्स ऑलरेडी बहुत हैं इंडिया में सर यूज और यूज योर टाइम वाइजली और डेवलप योर स्किल्स वाइजली ठीक है ऐसा जो मार्केट में फिर तुमने बहुत टफ हो जाती है सिचुएशन। Currently मार्केट इस वेरी टफ कंपटिटिव फॉर डिजाइनर्स। इन्हें में ऑलरेडी कैट डिजाइनर्स बहुत ज़्यादा हैं। ठीक है? सो यू यूज़ योर टाइम वाइजली व्हाटेवर यू कैन डू ओके। एंड नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ओके आधे आई हैव टू मूव ऑन अनदर वन। सो Sir, your voice is down again. Sir, yes, sir. Voice is down? Okay, sorry guys, I have some calls coming in, so... Uh, it's family time right now for me. I usually call in the mornings to my family in India. So they are calling, so that's that's okay. Um, sorry about that. Uh, let me drop a message to my home. Yeah, sorry about that. Can you hear me now? It's clear now. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, uh, Another question is, Brijesh, do you think that traditional mechanical branches like suspension and fence is saturated? No, no, no. Suspension is not saturated. Um, I didn't meant to say like saturation on the CAD design, but CAD designers is like मेरे भी बहुत दोस्त हैं भी जो कैड मॉडलिंग वगैरह से कर कर रही थी और इवन जूनियर्स भी जो कर रहे हैं बट इट्स रियली टफ तो फाइंड अ गुड जॉब फॉर कैड डिजाइनिंग और लाइक थिंग्स लाइक दैट क्योंकि इंडिया में क्या है मैकेनिकल पिछले जब मैं ग्रेजुएट हुआ था उससे पहले से ही चला आ रहा था कैड डिजाइनिंग 
like people used to go to hyderabad and uh, like citd is a very government school and there are different uh, centers for learning design softwares like in pune there was cad cam guru so a lot of my friends are seniors colleagues went to those centers and learned all the designing things so jitna time tum laga rahe ho na like designing ko seekhne mein utna output jin mein nikal ke nahi aa raha hai that's what my feeling is for as a design engineer uh or and a cab- sir, sorry can try and fields like uh, cfd and you know uh, other fields like that उसमें फ्यूचर लाइक इट्स इट्स ऑल इट विल इज स्टिल ओपन आई थिंक पीपल बट द थिंग इज इन इंडिया अगेन फॉर सीएफटी एज अ फ्रेशर इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू फाइंड अ जॉब एज अ फ्रेशर बट इफ यू हैव एक्सपीरियंस आफ्टर फाइव इयर्स यू विल गेट अ गुड जॉब और इफ यू डू द मास्टर्स एम टेक फ्रॉम आई आई टीज और एन आई टीज एंड डू अ गुड रिसर्च इन सी एफ टी देन you you will get a good job because i have friends who are doing who had done like i'm tech from iits and uh, nids after passing out from rjit and uh, they got a good job they are working in siemens renault for with a cfd analysis job so sorry so for cfd specific is like as a fresher after bachelor's it's very difficult and after masters there is a chance from a good school if you do the masters there is a chance to get a good job in cfd and so uh, thank you for the answer to the one final question uh, so sure. do you think it's better to do masters from abroad or some good schools in india like iits or nits um uh, it it depends man like uh, mm, i i'll never say like it's it's bad to do masters from india it, it's a good option i have seen people who have done it and they are performing a good role uh, in different industries so if you think when you are planning for masters from abroad uh you think money is a problem and the course you want to do there are issues do the family um, family members sometimes people are not able to go out or things like that so you can you can decide on those parameters the only thing major last option which stops from going abroad sometimes people is uh, money and the family issues so if you think uh, you will not be getting that much scholarship and your family is worried you have family responsibilities so even india is not a bad option you can score a good marks in ca- gate and go for am tech from india as well so what happens is even when you are doing am tech from iits and iits you get a good opportunity for uh, internships in foreign universities so you can for sure you can be active during your am tech and look for good opportunities around the globe and after your am tech you can try for phds because once you go for your masters you get an idea okay am i really made for research work so you can apply for phd for and because in phd you get full funding most of the time so phd is anywhere in the world it's it's good if you are really interested in research and phd you get funding it's it's more funded than masters okay thank you so much thank you no problem Okay, so um, we have on the call Malik, Nitish Malik, Ajay Bhai, Ram Ram. So let me introduce you, my junior Nitish Malik. He he also did all these SE Baha event. I when I was there in the college, he was I think second year, probably first year, second year. He did uh, uh, events with me. and he was also the team captain later on for our college team currently he is doing his masters from michigan technological university and he is currently doing internship at tesla in california 
I am Malik. Malik, your mic is off. Hello, sir. How are Hello, you? Hello, bye. Sab ko ram ram hai alo karte. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, sir, for introduction. Like, uh, it's been great. Like, I was in first year when uh, when I joined the team with you. Yeah, it's been a great pleasure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Once a time in California, I think. Abhi chai baje ho, ye bhi to uthai hoga. Yeah. Malik, can you make camera on? Uh, no, nah, not in that condition. Ah, my, I was just uthai ho, so I saw that sir ka webinar chal raha hai, so I joined. So. Abhi to. Abhi to. What? It's okay. We can schedule that session later. Ah, uh, sir, uh, you can do that. ज्यादा टाइम है नहीं अपने पास फिर करते हैं अपन बात मालिक थैंक यू फॉर ज्वाइनिंग मालिक the good junior uh, during my college life he is doing good you can you can later talk to him if you have more if you want to take more ideas he's doing uh, i think my post based masters from michigan technical university and uh... sir your mic is uh, taking the problem i think uh no sir i think uh, it's good or yes bad? sir yes sir good good okay let's keep moving sir uh, what 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 uh, brijesh gar we completed this okay suspension or things like that suspension steering those are not like i wouldn't say saturated there is always uh, something you can do you can innovate so Mm, suspension steering so you have vehicle dynamics you can work on a lot of things in suspension different kinds of geometries mechanism and all so those are not saturated but it's really difficult to find any innovation or very new thing and things like that uh maybe your voice is not clear i think right now clear uh how can we increase okay our uh, marketing skills and kate uh so ajit we can continue for some time is it okay yes sir uh, we can uh, do the 5 minute session more uh, you can uh, just go through uh, questions uh, uh, more fast and we can end yeah. the session yes sir Okay, so let's let's continue for few minutes, and yes, then we'll we'll shut it down. Yes, sir. Uh, okay, so for marketing skills, Aniket, uh, always like try to go present yourself with a lot of practice, and for marketing, I don't know, it's it's not. Excuse me, uh, it's not made for everyone actually. it's marketing is not for me i can't sell a thing to a uh, lot of people around so what you can do is there are different uh, courses if you are really interested how to improve your marketing skills you have a lot of uh, um, online negotiation courses or online marketing courses so you can go through those ones to have some idea okay how we can so the voice so uh, your voice Still, voice. How is this going? Uh, wait a second. I will put my headset on. Sir, voice is okay, sir. Uh, let me put my headset. I don't know why oh. this happened.
Can you hear me, guys? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thanks. Okay. Sorry, I don't know why things are happening. Yeah. Uh, so for marketing, you can look around the courses. Um, important thing is your communication skills. So work on that. Mm, try to do a lot of rehearsals and uh, oh, improve your com skills. That's the thing. Um, sorry, I left you to the network. That's fine. And Kate, work on your communication skills. Okay. Your favorite cars. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> okay, my my favorite one is uh, yeah. Though I am working for GM, but my favorite one is Ford GT Mustang, Mustang GT. So you can have a look on the specs. I love that car. I uh, I was just about to buy that one only, but yeah, other things around. And from GM, I I love Corvette. G1. Oh, that's a car I have driven. Um, that's a good one. Forward. Okay, let's move on to the next Hello. one, sir. Okay. Hello. Devansh, sir. Uh, I'm Pooja, sir. Sir, as you told us, like we're having uh, some courses to improve our uh, skills on the marketing as well as on the communication. So, mm -hmm. could you please help me out with some courses so that we can uh, suggest our students regarding the same? And we we, uh, we also can work on that. Uh, sure, sure. So, uh, is it okay if I post the courses later on the group? Some of them, yeah, of I course, can. Yeah, sure. of of no Those are those are from like Coursera, EDX, Udemy. Uh, there are courses. You can audit the course and have oh, some idea. Sure, no problem. All right. Sir. Because I, yes, I, yes. I was also doing one of the courses, like improving the negotiation skills. Okay. I learned a lesson by like when, when you go for a, when you are working for an organization and you want to switch the organization, uh, so you, you have to negotiate for the salaries. That's just an example. So I wasn't, I was doing that course how to make a good <laughs> negotiation skills. <laughs> so uh, yeah, uh, you can. Of course you can. All right. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So, RST, sir, can you say something motivation? Okay, for sure. We'll 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 do it at the end. Type of Necra. For being a designer, is it important to gain command on more than one three D modeling software? No, no web Uh, that's not the case. Uh, yesterday. I was answering this question again uh, during my question answer session, but it happened. So you don't need to learn all the different 3D softwares. You can go for one software, improve your skills on one software, other softwares if needed, you can learn uh, when, when it's needed actually. But you should have a good command on your basic CAD modeling skills. Uh, like, can you make a, 3D model using a 2D drawing, like if you are given a 2D drawing, which which we do in the engineering drawing course during our bachelor's. So you, you can, uh, so you can improve uh, the skills on one software, the softwares are pretty much similar. You can learn at any time, it, it won't take more than three, four days to learn a new software if you know one software perfectly. Other SOLIDWORKS, if you know Arcadia, yeah, you can still survive for another softwares. And then that's all, I think. Yeah, so I think we pretty much we have covered all the questions here. Uh, uh, Pooja, I will post my... Oh, recommended courses later in the group and uh, uh, last last one more thing uh, guys who whoever is planning for masters or ms from any other countries like in germany or in european countries fees is already low but uh, we don't need to think about too much about the money and all so germany is always a cheaper place to go for and then for us or canada the if you think you need a scholarship, go for a, a thesis-based master's. 
because most of the time you get paid, but those are tough ones to get. But for sure, you can try to connect to the professors because I did my master's by connecting to the professors before applying to university. And my professor was interested in my profile and then he gave me the funding. So for sure, you can do your master's freely and uh, yeah, you can make money during your master's. That's what I did. I was making money during my master's. I didn't pay for my master's. So yeah, that's all I had from career perspective and for you all guys on the call who are participating in S SUVC, uh, I will encourage you guys to keep uh, learning new skills and participating in this event. You will have a good experience overall. And it's a new upcoming field for the renewable energies. Uh, you need to have some idea, okay. You can go in depth actually. Uh, you can build your like career in solar cars or solar power energy. So keep doing uh, what you guys are doing. It's, it's a very nice thing. And that's a new upcoming field. So guys, good job. Uh, and if you are confused about the event, uh, for sure there is always a confusion. Sometimes it's related to the career. Okay, should I do this event or should I focus on my personal career? Like like working on my cat or gear coachings, things like that. So again, I said that yesterday, it's it's up to you guys, but events are the place like SUVC where you learn, excuse me, where you learn a lot of the skills which are really needed in the current market, wherever you go, US, Germany, Canada, wherever you work, GM, uh, Mahindra, Maruti, Mercedes, anywhere, Tesla, you need those skills which are being taught in this SUVC event, which are you, which you learn actually by working with the team and presenting your team at the national level. So for sure, you will not learn those kind of skills in your coaching things like get, get, but at the end it comes up to you only where you want to take your career. But I will always recommend doing these events and learning a lot of new skills. Okay.